Hi everyone and welcome to Weekly Cooking with Becky. Today we are going to do a dupe, which means a copycat recipe. So this time of the year at Starbucks, everybody's drinking their pumpkin spice lattes and their apple crisp macchiatos. But in Treatland, they have a pumpkin cream cheese muffin. Now, not all of you used no, but I used to be a barista there. And so I'm excited to try this. Um, there is a video I did a little while ago teaching people how to make their cold brew at home to save some money. And I'm gonna actually put a link to that below. Um, I'm gonna make that while these are baking to enjoy. Um, but I wanted to make the muffin, the pumpkin cheese cr cream cheese muffin that is only available during the season, but why can't you enjoy it any time of year? And it's supposed to take taste legitimately like the Starbucks pumpkin cream cheese. You can get their pumpkin loaf all year round, but the, this particular muffin only comes with the pumpkin spice latte season. So we're gonna get going with that and I will let you know, because one of the things as a barista is you have to test everything. And so um, I do know what the muffin tastes like. I only had a couple bites of it because I live low carb, but you have to know for the flavor profile to tell customers. So I remember distinctly what it tastes like and we're gonna see if this matches. All right, I'm gonna aim down and let you know what's in each bowl and we're gonna get to assembling. All right, so I have two bowls going on here. I have one in the freezer, which is the topping bowl. So in the dry bowl, already kind of mixed up, I have almond flour, coconut flour, pumpkin pie spice, baking soda, granular sweetener of choice. In the liquid bowl, and it's still pretty liquidy. Anyways, in the liquid bowl, one cup pumpkin puree, not pumpkin spice, pumpkin puree, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a fourth of a cup of melted butter, and an egg. We are now going to add the wet to the dry and get them mixed up. And you will then need a quarter cup measuring cup. You will need some sort of spoon with a divot. I'll explain why. In the freezer, I have, and I'll just tell it to you like this, because I'm gonna mix. I'm going to put in rounded, one fourth cups, rounded, one fourth cups into each one of these. They're going to be sprayed, by the way, sprayed, lined and sprayed. Um, I'm gonna put one fourth cup into each, and then in the middle, I'm gonna poke a hole and then kind of make it get a little bit wide, because we want the filling to go down the middle and then come up and out the top. And I'll come back and show you that. But in the freezer right now, I have the confectioner's sweetener of choice, cream cheese, sugar-free almond milk, and whipping cream. I've already blended it. It was a little too liquidy, um, not ready to use right away. So I'm letting it thicken, thicken up in the freezer while I mix these. It should be ready to go on the tops. So I'm gonna mix these get these uh get the one fourth cup in here with the divots so you can see that and then i'll be back to show you how we add the cream cheese and you will need papitas little pumpkin seeds and it's okay if you have the little lightly salted please don't buy a six dollar bag if you've got a bin store near you like a sprouts or whole food that sells things by the bins you can go get two to four tablespoons of pumpkin seeds for 60 cents that's what i did all right i'll be back when we're ready to add the final product Okay, so I've got them all filled. I pressed in the filling, then I took that spoon and I made divots. Let me show you. So now there's a divot in every single one. All right, so what I'm going to do now, let's see, here we go, is I wanna make sure that I fill those divots. Some of the cr cream cheese has hardened up a little bit, that's okay all gonna melt in there and then you just fill it into the top so I'm gonna do that on all of them I'll just show you the back row here then you just take some pepitas and you just kind of place them across like you would if you were at Starbucks and you went and got some. So I'm gonna do this to all of them. 
And then we are going to bake them at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. There we go. Until fully cooked and lightly browned. So I will see you on the other side when we're ready for a delicious taste test. All right, I am ready for this taste test. As promised, I'm gonna leave the cold brew linked in the description. I've been enjoying it while I have been waiting. So here's what the muffins look like. And I went ahead and cut one in half so that you can see the cream cheese goes down into the inside. And hopefully you can see that they're still moist and on top. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Okay. Oh, I like the pepito crunch. That's really good. It's just enough moist. It's great. Here's what I would do being a former barista. I would individually wrap them. What they do at the store is every two days, whatever isn't thawed from the freezer is pitched. Just a little heads up. These made 12. So I plan on having two in the fridge and pulling as I go. It's recommended as a breakfast, but you could eat it as a snack. But I just want to let you know that they only, like, that's what they do. The recipe doesn't state how long that they're good for in the fridge. Um, they could be good four to five days. I'm going to put mine individually in bags, and I'm going to kind of treat it that same way and kind of have a two-day rotation going on. It takes about 24 hours to do a full thaw two days in the fridge and then move it on out. Um, a lot less carbs, a lot less calories, and I'm gonna be doing mine as breakfast with my coffee in the morning. So these are great and I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye.